In our next video, we're going to do, um, we're going to talk about vertical and horizontal asymptotes. Vertical and horizontal asymptotes are an extension of our limits to infinity. Um, pretty simple, or pretty uh, concepts that are, are similar to what we just looked at. Um, the one you're probably most familiar with is our vertical as asymptotes. And remember, asymptotes are a value that, that the graph is approaching as, a, as x approaches a particular number. So you have vertical asymptotes whenever you have division by 0. The concept here that you want to do, that 0 is terrible, isn't it? Do that again. The concept here is that you want to take the numerator set it equal to zero and solve it and that will give you a vertical asymptote. You have horizontal asymptotes whenever the limit as x approaches infinity or negative infinity. A graph can never cross a vertical asymptote. Graph graphs oftentimes cross horizontal asymptotes. So let's take a look at a question. Let's say we have something like y equals, and I just want to give the horizontal and vertical asymptotes of this, say y equals 2x squared plus 5x minus 1 over 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. Um, so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and um, I want to find my, my horizontal and vertical asymptotes. Um, the, the, the one that you're probably, like I said, most familiar with are your vertical ones. Let's do that one first. On our vertical asymptote, we're going to take the 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. We're going to set it equal to 0 and we're going to solve it. So you factor that. It's x minus 3 and 2x plus 1. And honestly, the factoring is probably the hardest part of these questions. Um, sometimes the factoring is easy, sometimes it's not so easy. So x equals 0, or x equals negative 1 half. And so that means that I have vertical asymptotes at those two values, both of those values. For your horizontal asymptote, What happens is, since the power in the denominator and the power in the numerator are equal to each other, you have a horizontal asymptote at 2x squared over 2x squared, or just 1. So a horizontal asymptote at y equals 1. There's a couple of rules with horizontal asymptotes that would be helpful for you to know. On the horizontal asymptote, if you have three rules, if the power in the numerator is greater than the power in the denominator then there's no horizontal asymptote there might be a slant asymptote but we don't look at slant asymptotes in this class. If the power in the denominator is greater than the power in the numerator, then you have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. Those two are not very common. The one that you see more often is like the example I just did, is when the powers are equal, when the power in the denominator equals the power in the numerator, then you have a, a horizontal asymptote at y equals um, the ratio of the leading coefficients.
sorry about that bell. Um, but anyways, the, the CO means leading coefficients. So that was the example I did for you, like with the 2x squared over the 2x squared. If I were to have something like, let's just say I had an equation like y equals 5x cubed um, plus 2x over 3 minus 7x cubed. You'd have horizontal asymptotes there because they're both x cubed. You have horizontal asymptotes at the ratio of the leading coefficients are negative 5 over 7. So that would be your horizontal asymptotes would be y equals negative 5 over 7. The most common ones are this one where you have the powers that are equal to each other. All right, so you got some problems on horizontal and vertical asymptotes to go along with your limits to infinity and negative infinity. Good luck.